What's up, Falcons Nation? It's your boy, Jew, coming at you with another Atlanta Falcons video. As always, Falcons Nation, rise up. In today's video, I would like to talk about the Atlanta Falcons defense and defensive coordinator, Dean Pease. But if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you know when I've done Atlanta Falcons content. Hit that like button for your boy. I do appreciate each and every one of you guys uh, for your continued support and continuing to share out my content. Um, if you would like to follow your boy on Twitter and Instagram, you can follow me at Jew Talk Sports. If you would like to donate to my channel, you can donate to my cash app, uh, which is the dollar sign Jew Talk Sports. And if you would like to be a part of my Jew Talk Sports membership, uh, you can hit that join tab here on the channel. But with that being said, let's jump right into the quick video. So as I mentioned uh, in today's video, I do want to talk about the Atlanta Falcons defense and defensive coordinator Dean Pease. I actually read a short article uh, from Pro Football Focus today, and they basically uh, talked to Dean Pease, and he basically stated uh, in the article that the Atlanta Falcons defense only ran 60% of his defensive playbook or his defensive scheme, and this year they're going to run 100% of his defensive scheme, which I thought was very interesting, um, and I kind of wanted to get you guys' opinion on, the, uh, on this Atlanta Falcons defense, and do you... Uh, do you guys think that the Atlanta Falcons defense will improve this season, uh, being that they now understand the scheme a little bit better, uh, being that Dean Pease was uh, it was his first year last season as our defensive coordinator. And we had a lot of young players uh, like the Richie Grants of the world, uh, like the Ogan Daisies of the world. Uh, we had a lot of young players on the roster uh, that was still learning the scheme and still learning, you know, getting to learn the speed of the NFL and adjusting to the league, um, especially due to COVID and a lot of the protocols and things of that nature um, that we had last year and the players had to deal with. Kind of wanted to get you guys uh, thoughts on um, the Falcons being able to run um, 100 percent of Dean Pease's scheme, because I know Dean Pease is one of those guys that likes to blitz and likes to have pressure packages. And last season, uh, due to injury to Isaiah Oliver and due to injuries and due to um, our young players still learning the scheme. Dean Pease was trying not to put too much on those guys plate as far as allowing those guys to play fast. And he didn't want to put, you know, too much on their plate where they had to learn, um, you know, too much intricate details and things of that nature uh, last season. So he wanted those guys to be able to go out there and play fast. But this year, I do think that the Atlanta Falcons defense uh, will be improved uh, due to them. Um, being able to run 100% of Dean Pease's scheme. Um, but I want to get you guys' thoughts on, do you think that the Atlanta Falcons defense will improve this season? I definitely think that they'll be improved this season, much improved uh, due to us, um, due to these guys being under that, uh, being under Dean Pease's scheme for a full season and now have, uh, having the full offseason to study the playbook to study film and things of that nature of things that they may have done wrong during games last season um, and coming in this year, uh, being able to come in and play fast and not do too much thinking out there on the field, but just read and react. Uh, but with that being said, you guys let me know what you think of the video. Uh, let me know if you think the Atlanta Falcons defense will be much improved this season. I definitely think that the defense will be improved just for the mere fact of familiarity. Um, it was a reason that they brought in guys like Rashawn Evans, and we have a lot of veteran guys now on this team, like uh, Deion Jones, who's still on the team, and Grady Jarrett, uh, guys who's played in this scheme, uh, A.J. Terrell. We pretty much have leaders on every level of the defense, and now they're able to mentor these younger players and get these guys ready to play um, as well. But with that being said, this being your boy, Ju. I have a lot more content coming for you guys, but as always, Falcons Nation, rise up. Peace.